Oh man, so one thing that I do love is when rappers rap. But one thing that's interesting is when two rappers are a couple and they go through a breakup and they put that shit in their music. And it's like, damn, I don't think you're supposed to be hearing all this shit. But I'm interested though. And I want to see how how creative you can get with telling us what the hell is going on in your damn mind. How the hell y'all broke up? I love to see the creativity because I don't know why, but some people don't want to admit it. We love when artists are vulnerable and they're expressing themselves in music. And a lot of times, some of us can go ahead and tap into that when we're going through similar situations. And and that helps us grow better bonds with our favorite artists. But today, that's being challenged. So Party and Magnus Stallion broke up. Magnus Stallion recently put out a song called Cobra, where she mentions why they broke up, or she tells her version why. But Party has responded, and it's very interesting. Now, 10 months ago on my channel, I was a little smaller creator at that point in time, obviously. But a lot of y'all still hanging around from that point in time. But 10 months ago on my channel, I said this right here. I, this is speculation we would never know, but I wonder if he was told the truth about these things about her past. Because if he found out, like we found out, then oh, no. Oh. Imagine her denying sleeping with Tori this entire time and denied it to him as well. And then having to find out in the, in the manner that we found out. Well, guys, I was right. And that's why you should always follow your boy. <laughs> that's why you gotta stay tapped in with Yam Stacy because I be right about a lot of things. I be wrong sometimes too, but when I be thinking about why this happened and why did that, I'll be on point, man. But throughout this video, we're going to talk about the reactions to Party Track. And it's very interesting because I thought most ladies were going to be on Party's head. But a lot of them are understanding of what he's saying. And I'm going to cover that. But first, we're going to get through the lyrics from both of these songs. It's going to be very, very interesting because I love when rappers rap. Now, Megan Thee Stallion dropped Cobra. And at first, at first, I was a little underwhelmed because I felt like, it felt like, Going to a five-star restaurant, knowing you about to eat good, and only having a fire-ass appetizer, and that was it. The appetizer was good, though. The appetizer was great, tasteful, but that was it. That's how I felt when I heard Cobra, and I just realized that, okay, I'm expecting too much from Megan Thee Stallion. I expect her to rap on levels that she just may not be capable to rap at. And if I lower my expectations, then I'd be satisfied with what she produces. And once I did that, I was able to appreciate the song. So let's talk about this song. Because in this song, Party references a lot of things that she says. So let's focus on these lyrics right here. At night, I'm sitting in a dark room thinking, probably why I always end up drinking. Yes, I'm very depressed. How can somebody so blessed want to slit their wrist? Should I probably bleed out some Pinot when they find me? I'm in Valentino. Hey, he pouring me shots, sticking his lips. Ha, little did he know, this pussy depressed. Hmm, I'm about to stress him. Yeah, pink, rails round, pink nails around his neck, uh, but it's ain't domestic. Whatever. Uh, think this going down, now you stand corrected. This whole thing is about party. This whole song is about her leading from the Tory Lane shit and everything she got going on, drinking her damn sorrows away and going into a relationship and party thinking it's going to be all lit, having fun, but he's inheriting a broken woman that he's trying to heal and he's trying to go the best step forward and trying to do whatever he can to let her know, hey, everything cool over here. You could be you. You want to be drinking. You want to have fun. We could do all that. We could do all that. But the whole time, she's not in a position to receive no love, whether it's coming from a good place or not, because she just hasn't healed, healed herself yet. So her saying this pussy to the press is her little Megan Thee Stallion hot girl way to say, yeah, whatever she got to say about the, the, the mindset that she's in. So she continued to say, hey, damn, I got problems. Never thought a bitch like me would ever hit rock bottom. Man, I miss my parents. Way too anxious. Always cancel my plans. Pulled up, caught him cheating. Getting his dick sucked in the same spot. I'm sleeping. Lord, give me a break. I don't know how much more of this shit I can take. I'm killing myself when bitches would die to be me. That's the hardest line in this song right here. I like that song. I like that line. I like the line a lot. Now, this seems to be another time that she's acknowledging how she's been moving in the industry in her personal life. Rather, it's her interactions or her struggle with alcohol and how those things both combine to putting her in the mind state that at the end of the day, she isn't happy with herself. But she's still in a position of privilege that she should appreciate. Now, me personally, I hope that leads to better decisions from her. But yeah, that's that right there. I was going to do a full-blown rundown on Cobra, but I think I was being too hard on Megan. I ain't feel like... <sighs> embracing all the mixed reactions to my reactions, so I said, whatever. I'm not going to put out my damn review for her, her song. I'll just let her have that moment because I got to realize she's being graded on a different bar than I grade bars. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, partisan on my scale, he reaches five on all fucking, he reaches fives, fives on my scale of great in music. I ain't got a curve shit for party and it makes sense. 
why the hell this man is sought after by Cardi B and Kanye West to write music for him because this man is amazing. Like Megan, why would you why would you even antagonize a writer? A writer? <laughs> what? Like a writer. God damn. I don't want to mud it, but I want to go through these lyrics because, man, I don't want to mud it, though, because everything's so masterful. Even when it comes to the goddamn artwork with her song Cobra, but he just put the, the very basic snake. <laughs> he put the basic ass snake game as his shit in his song called The Person. And it's so, man, I don't want to glaze. That's, I hate this newer generation. You can't say some shit fire without people saying glaze. This man went crazy. I know y'all here for the reactions from the ladies. We're going to get into that point, but hold on tight. I told y'all we hanging. We talking hip hop today. I love this shit. I, I respect Meg for even opening up to this, and I, pre I prefer these two rappers doing this rather than running to blogs or interviews and all the other shit. We'll handle that part. The media, we'll handle that. But y'all fucking rap. Let's talk about it. So, so the song just start off the way it's supposed to start off. Um, after watching people drag your name and talk about you in unfavorable ways in order to get attention, Clicks, I never thought you would do something like that to me. So, people was killing this man. They was killing him, killing his current girlfriend, Jada Kingdom. They was basically harassing the man, the fans. They was harassing the man. It was crazy. Then he says, um, i like to apologize for uh, no longer keeping up with your lies or supporting your habits to tell half-truths. I hope this message reaches you well. I hope you get the help you need. Then he starts off. I think you may go through this whole thing. This is masterful, dog. I just wish you would tell the whole truth. When you was going through shit, how I hold you is going to be okay. That's what I told you. I was the realest nigga you was close to, and that's for real. The people that know you don't love you. The people that love you don't know you. I love you out loud. I was vocal. Said you never seen that up close. I said, come here, baby. Let me show you. Sit down for a second, girl. You need to hear this. Be for real. You ain't even realistic. Got lipo. Then you started posting gym pics. The things that you're doing is sadistic. Damn, I was defending her low key, like not on record. I'm going to fit this journey right now. I'm losing a lot of fucking weight. We're going to talk about that on another, another video. Slob the God. We going for slob the God over here, but I've been out here like supporting people that I think that are that are on fitness journeys and shit. Whole time these motherfuckers going to lipo clinics. Whole time these nut motherfuckers doing the goddamn band man Kevo. Whole time these motherfuckers swallowing those zimpics, popping those zimpics like perkies. Whole time. I'm out here doing it the right way, and I'm gonna tell y'all, tell y'all how to do it too. But um I was defending Meg, people saying that she got lipo. I'm like, nah, man, she ain't get no lipo. She out here really grinding. Wrong. Wrong. The fuck I'm doing defending Meg, dog. Last time I defended Meg, she confused the hell out of me. Then I stopped defending her because she confused the hell out of me. For the same reasons that Cardi Party talking about right here, dog. But um, let's continue reading. So spent four hours doing glam, not a blemish, but your foundation is off. You need to fix it. Clean up your spirit, not just your image. Whew. Whew. I thought that's what you was doing with your downtime. When a snake shed its skin, it only changed on the outside Remember, her whole song is about a cobra shutting the skin, X, Y, and Z. But he's saying within, hit her with that Lauren Hill. How you gonna win when you ate right within? God damn. He said, you got emotional hurdles. Man, the work you need is internal. When love goes bad, can't believe it. Archive pits because you can't delete it. Damn, see me with Jada Kingdom and then you went Jada Pinkett. Oh my God. <laughs> Saw you pop out, wish you the best. You see me pop out, start ripping your chest. Yup, she popped out before him with that goddamn dude. Well, homie, now the, the soccer player, now she like, <laughs> it's, that's the gripping the chest shit. Goddamn. Damn, thought you was on an island healing. I guess the newer album need a villain. Ooh, brand new way for you to be a victim. And you did all this on my daughter's birthday. Oh, girl, you consistent. If y'all don't get that... That's when she went on live and said what happened to Tory Lanez. With Tory Lanez. You know, she's a victim. She was a victim, so she has her, she has the right to go ahead and tell her truth. But that's what she did. And he's saying she's consistent with that because you go ahead and make me a new villain in your story on my birthday. So, yeah. <sighs> Oh, girl, you consistent shit. I got to love you from a distance. Same nigga that you did all the tags. Same. This this, this part right here. I had to, had to stop myself. Same nigga that you did all the tags for the beats. You let that nigga tag. Let him beat. 
You let me give him dap when we meet. Even that I kept discreet. She talking about the little Jew on the beat nigga. The, the, her producer. Had a nigga dapping. The, dog, this is... Like, this is vicious. Me Megan was moving nasty. Megan was moving nasty and party. This is your fault because you chose the wife and you seen how she was moving, my boy. You chose this. Ain't no way you ain't see. If we seen it, then you seen it and you was privy to more information, my boy. So you set yourself up for this shit. Yeah, we on, we 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 keep it real about Megan, but we talk to mostly fellas over here. Talking to like directing our attention to women sometimes be like beating a dead horse because not a lot of ladies watch my channel. So we gotta talk amongst some fellas and keep it real to not go through these situations. You seen everything that we seen. You seen her with G Easy looking crazy as hell in the bed. You seen her with Wiz looking extra weird. You seen her with Trey Songs looking like she going crazy. You, you, you seen those same things we seen. I got a video. We're gonna tap into all this later. On another video, we're gonna go deeper into this type of stuff. But um, let's continue. All right. So he says, I asked you to your face, did you smash them dudes? And you swore on your mother. Her dead mother. I knew from then I couldn't trust her. More lies from the lips of a lover. Same lips that I got tatted on my shoulder. Even then I kept my composure. I was supposed to. This the girl I'm trying to propose to. As Greg Unna. I had picked out a ring. Then you lied to my face. Went on TV and then lied to Gail King. People. I found out with the rest of the world. I told y'all 10 months ago that if he found out with us, oh boy, how can you recover from that? This is such a huge thing. He's trying to support her through this shit because like he's confused as far as like, why would he shoot you? Why would this happen? But you told him, I wasn't fucking, uh, we wasn't having sex. So imagine supporting her through this and she's lying to you as she's coming to you to 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 support her like have y'all ever really been there for a woman or anybody and then you realize that you were being lied to when you were being vulnerable for them and the whole reason why this whole situation started is because of them they they have a horrible circumstance that they're in right now but they were the architect of their circumstance you ever been in that situation like you motherfucker you caused all this and as we're speaking, as we're talking about it, you're omitting the part that shows that you caused this so we can't even really heal. Because the foundation of this issue is based around you that you're not even acknowledging. So imagine being in the party's position when it comes to this shit. This ain't no just small relationship shit. No, your relationship is being tested within... The biggest, one of the biggest trials in hip hop history. Your girlfriend is going through this and things that she told you it, through emotional times that you think you're connecting and growing with each other. You find out finally when she go to trial, she finally tell the truth and you just at home looking like, what the fuck? If you guys don't know what you're talking about, it's um, not knowing that Meg smashed Tory Lanez and that's what was all going on. But um, I'm pretty sure you guys already know. He says, girl, I treated you like a queen whole time. I'm a clown in your circus. I tried to pull you up out the mud till you are trying to drown me on purpose. You know, the devil was a serpent for some streams and views. Girl, I hope it was worth it. This ain't for Megan Thee Stallion. This is for Megan the person. We ain't done. We gonna keep going because he deserved the support for this shit. He don't get that much attention to his music. We gonna give him some attention right now. So he says, keep it a buck. You can be honest. That's a hard line. Like, keep it a buck. You can be honest. That's up. Hey, y'all know. Talk, talking about me and some dame. That's, that's, that's a bars, bro. I like that. Um, Like, I was just out here doing my thing. The way you paint in this picture is a shame. How many times did I catch you texting them niggas? You did it first. I just did me bigger. So, I caught you texting niggas first. You was being, you was cheating first, low key. Because if I, if I see you texting... Who knows what else you're doing and I can't trust you because you a liar. And this is what niggas do. I had a conversation with somebody recently and they was like, okay, so if she was cheating, all this stuff going on, then why do you stay with her? This was something us niggas do. We could be done with a relationship and 
when we done, we don't just leave. We just get sloppy and say, whatever. You want to leave, you can leave, and it just be done, done like that. He was done. He was done. If he, she caught him cheating, he didn't give a damn. He wanted it to be done. Got his excuse, and it was over. He probably was relieved from going through all that shit and doing all that. So so he says, um, how many times did I catch you texting them niggas? You did you first. I just did me bigger. You flew out the country and called for days. In my mind, we had parted ways. He like, man, shit, this shit done. So he just got harassed by these, by these people thinking that, you know, they in this great relationship and he just got his dick sucked in the bed. He like, no, that's not how the fuck it was. We weren't on good terms. I thought we was over. Based on how she was moving, she was messing with other dudes, texting other dudes. So I'm like, shit, then you just go off the grid. I don't hear from you. We done then. Okay. I'm supposed to just be, see, some people think the world just revolve around them. And everybody just living in their lap. You feel me? No. People have lives too. They have emotions too. They have feelings too. Especially if they, they've opened themselves up as far as choosing to love you with all that you have to bring to their, their life. Everything don't just revolve around you. When you want to pick up and go, you can pick up and go. No. No. You can't do people like that. That's men or women. You can't do people like that. Pick and choose when you want to come in and out of their life with no communication. Doing what the hell you want to. No. And then feel some type of way when you get, get a certain response. No. Don't do people like that, man. So he says, um, in my mind, we had part of ways you was back moving awful strange in an effort to fix it. I took all the blame like I always do. Apologize for shit that I know I ain't do. How you want grace and lack empathy. Even to this day, I'm not your enemy. I'm returning the vibes that you sending me. I wanted me and you to work more than anything. I still want your well-being more than anything. Um, you can still hit my mama for anything. The breakup was clean. You made it a mess. I never play it. I never plan on saying anything. I see you take shot after shot, but never seen you swallow a drop of accountability. <laughs> they ain't finna drive the boat to that right there, huh? You fall out with everyone in your vicinity. Is that depression or is it hostility? Dang. This nigga here wanna drive that point in. Had me beefing with niggas you know you was fucking. <laughs> He, that, that chorus, I ain't even addressed that bar yet. That's the chorus. Have me beef with niggas you know you was fucking. That, that's just like. Beautiful girl, but your soul is disgusting. You got everything, but you still ain't happy. That should be showing you some. Hire detectives, girl, you the feds. Not in your house, not in your bed. You lying to the people. You sick in the, you sick in the head. He's telling the people she's lying to y'all. He's telling the people that she is lying to them. Damn. Megan, why why would you don't antagonize certain people? Because we, we matter of fact, we're going to say it within. Let's get into those reactions because that's what you guys more like clip for. But let's get into reactions, okay? So first, you're tapping in with some of the fellas, and then we're gonna eventually lead towards the ladies and what they have to say. Um, so homie says, "Party got that feminist tattoo on his abdomen. Now he crying about his ex girl being sexually liberated. Nah, my boy, you gotta stand on that." Homie posted this girl saying, "Y'all keep joking about party finding out about people making his fuck, but have y'all ever considered that he's a real nigga and doesn't care? <laughs> that makes you a real nigga? Uh, no." But in response to the original post, homie said, boy, that is not a part of the song. What he said was that he accepted it and wasn't going to say shit, but she dropped Cobra and tried to lie on his name. This woman says, baby, he admitted to cheating, even if she said where she lays her head. If she had a tendency of staying at his place, it still counts. He says, nah, he says she left the country for a month and never said anything to him. So he figured they was done and she came back to that. You can't leave your significant other for a month on a bad note, not say shit, and act like shit was supposed to be gravy when she came back. So homie said, so party didn't find out Meg was having sex with those rappers until the trial? I don't know how he ain't even at least put his, he used his thinking cap. Bro said, party is a corny nigga, and niggas been saying that when you bitches were acting like he was the black Hercules, but that track didn't really come off corny or petty. If anything, the nigga sounded embarrassed and disappointed, LMAO. But let's get into the ladies' discussion. So, uh... The problem I be trying to, I, I know the problem and I be trying to tell y'all, y'all don't really date, y'all don't really date strict men. Y'all date, y'all date men who think they strict, but they really not strict. Y'all date fake ass alpha males. I date actual alpha males because one thing about an actual alpha male, he don't never have to puff his chest and yell he an alpha male. 
real alpha males walk in the room. Yeah, you see, you see my man got that energy about him. You feel me? See my man walked in this room. This room was his. That's how that should go. And like anything else, as a woman, you naturally allow yourself to be led by a man like that. And something that come with a man like that, them type of men, I would never speak on no woman. Why y'all think I be on here talking so goddamn freely? I'm good for scoping them out. Them the ones I get up under. Yeah. Speaking on a woman, to him, make him less of a man. What the fuck he gonna speak on a woman for? That don't even make no goddamn sense. Because he really liked that. And he not yelling into a podcast mic oh, looking like a motherfucking loser. Like a fucking point Dexter. Fuck. Speaking on a motherfucking lipo. First of all, I don't even think she got no lipo. But if she did, but if she fucking did, you was still on her. You look like a point Dexter motherfucking loser. You're the greatest female rapper. One of the greatest female rappers of our generation. Party. Partisan. The fuck? Going right, going right, Cardi, another hit. Since you, because, because this, this, this is why he feels so free to do this. He be in women's business anyway. <laughs> the man talking about his own damn life. This is crazy. We supposed to be just punching bags and then and just targets. That's what we're supposed to be as men punching bags as targets. Rappers express themselves. They talk about their life all the damn time. He's an artist. If he wants to rap about his fucking life, he should be able to rap about his fucking life, especially when someone calls him out. That he was in a relationship with. We listen to Drake talk about his damn life all the damn time. Listen to goddamn 50 Cent talk about his life and his music. That's how he got popping. We listen to so many damn people talk about their damn life and music. The, the man, we talk about somebody that y'all know is the problem. The one that y'all choose to be the chosen one, that's the problem. That's the only issue. If there's some random chick, y'all be perfectly fine with it. So this lady says, party a big, stupid, lame ass nigga, and you wasn't arguing with no niggas about her. You let a 411 nigga punk you on the internet, and you literally never came to her defense. Again, shut your lame ass up, bitch. But would you look at here? This person found this. This got to be a lesson for someone people will conveniently forget just to hop on a hate train. So the same person, look at the name, look at the face. Look at the name, look at the face. Exact match. Party looked like he could sleep, Tori, with one hit. And this is her reposting Party saying this. Don't tweet nothing else. See me. That's at Tori Lane's. Tory Lanez put the phone down. Let's link. You and me ain't nothing to talk about. So that's why you can't take some people serious, dog. What she post about him literally doing what she said he wouldn't do. Okay, so this lady right here says my thing with Party is sure he has the right to say something back, but y'all acting like she dragged him for filth. She said one line about that man and it was about cheating. He made a whole song about her as a response. LMAO, am I missing something? Am I tripping? She says, my job before y'all jump me, I clearly asked, am I tripping? So I'm inviting this course. So don't come writing me stupid shit out of emotion and let's have a chat. Okay. Okay. All right. So this person says one line to a bigger audience fan base can do more damage to his brand image than his whole song. So it may seem minute, but it was all that was needed to throw dirt on him. And she says, okay, I like the response. Thank you for this. Okay. So she, she's open. We gonna keep it light on sis. This dude says in response to that, y'all already think a black man in hip hop's brand is in jeopardy because he was exposed for being a cheater, one of the most misogynistic genres in music, like dead ass, when his audience is mainly women, then yes. Oh, she right, she right. Who, who the baby main audience is? The baby, women, that's his main audience. And if you watch women speak about the baby falling off on social media, people talk about the stuff with the um, the gay stuff, but it ain't really that because y'all know black women are very homophobic, so they don't really care that much about that. But when he did that shit to Danny Lay, when he did that shit to Danny Lay, they ain't even like that girl, but they feel sorry for that girl. Um, many fellas, they understood why he was moving the way he was moving with Danny Lay, but the ladies ain't like that shit. And that messed him up huge. That's most of the points um, that's mostly of what women point to when it comes to him and the bad taste that's left in their mouth. That situation right there. They did not like that. So, yeah, doing some shit to a person like that and your main audience is women, it could hurt you. It could really hurt you. This lady says, why even say one line, though? And that was in response to her saying, um, she said one line and then he said a whole song. Y'all heard what Jay told Nas, man. But once again, the whole chorus is about party. The whole chorus is about party. So he says, um, so she says, it's crazy to me that us as women 
Talk about how men have no feelings and show little emotions, but when they do, they get dragged for it when it's completely normal to be hurt, to have feelings, rather man or woman. This lady says, do women realize it is abuse to weaponize men not being able to respond back to you when you speak negatively on them? He doesn't care about being a real man if you're lying on him. These women say after listening to the whole diss track, I'm convinced women as a unit will avoid accountability by any means necessary. Ain't no way we're jumping this man for that, y'all for real. This lady responds, facts, how can we pass the shit she did as a whole just to focus on how the song was? Laugh my fucking ass off. Girl math. Damn. These ladies giving it up, man. See, that's why I like doing my channel. I ain't, this ain't just male bashing or female bashing on my channel. We provide all perspectives. And I'm going to go ahead and give fellas hope out there for the women that, <laughs> that think full circle. They just not out there just trying to please the crowd, you know. I appreciate these ladies for having this opinion and not being afraid to share that opinion because men should be able to express themselves, especially if their art is revolving around expressing yourself and somebody out there is attacking you as far as building a, uh, um, a uh, what's, the, what's the word, a narrative around your name and you're not allowed to clear it up. Like, nah, nah. Because y'all know how that shit go. One time, person say some shit one time, next thing you know, oh, they're a cheater, they're a cheater, they're a cheater. That's all you hear for the rest of your career. Oh, you cheated on Meg. Cause I don't want to hear nothing you say because he cheated on Meg. Like, nah, man. That shit was over. That shit was dead. That shit was dead. Should have been left her. But a lot of times, us fellas, we don't leave on our own merit for whatever reason. We just hang around. We linger around. But um, but y'all got to let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. Stay tuned. Slob to God. We are getting there. Y'all see me going from slob to goddamn gods over here. Hold on tight. More information coming soon.